Well, the craziest thing is last year, Joseph Saley uh, won this, you know, and at 16 years old, we have the potential to have someone even younger win that, I think, this year. Yeah, yeah, we could see it. So, you know, will it be young versus young, old versus old, old versus young? We'll, we'll see it all happen here. All the yep. potential for it is here. Uh, but before we get started, we'd like to give a shout out to some of our sponsors and uh, most an incredible game I played over the past year, and we highlighted it last year here at Tetris World Championships 2018, Tetris Effect, the award-winning game released for PC now yeah. with optional VR support for Oculus Rift and HTC Vibe. It's currently available exclusively on the Epic Games Store. The ultimate version of Tetris Effect is capable of running resolutions of 4K or more with an uncapped frame rate. So it's a great game, future-proofed, awesome Tetris Effect. All right. <laughs> It looks like we're ready to go. Uh, give us uh, the... Okay. Is everybody ready for some high-level Tetris? Let's do a big countdown, guys. Get everybody excited. Three, two, one, Tetris! Everybody starting with an O piece just right out of the gate. And here top, we go. So top five, we're going to be doing best three out of five instead of two out of three. Yeah, and of course, Joseph Saley, last year's champion, so I'm sure a lot of people are going to be watching on the bottom half of there, but, you know, keep an eye on Dan QZ as well. One of the new blood here and has been really impressive so far was one of the only players, uh, one of only, I think, six players who maxed out during the qualification round. Joseph taking a slight early lead over Green Tea. <laughs> We've got good audience participation here. <laughs> Oh, a slight little mistake there from Green Tea right at the start. Not going to be a problem. He's going to be able to clean that out. No problem. Perfect T piece right there is going to open up that hole. And there he goes. He's Tetris ready again. Dan Husey and Josh trading off Tetris blows there. Dan Tetris ready. Boom. And Josh is also Tetris ready. Looking to even up the score. Fires back with a triple. He's trying to figure out a way to fill in that little gap there. Had the perfect Z, uh, L and J piece back is. to back. Gets Boom, a Tetris. Tetris for green tea. And there you go. Perfect uh, J piece there as well. Dan QZ developing the center well. Boom, Tetris for Dan. And Josh had just uh, made a Tetris there. Dan with a triple. Of course, all these players from a lot of different backgrounds. Green tea, of course, from the uh, Tetris Grandmaster games has turned himself into one of the premier NES players, NES Tetris players. Proving that skills are transferable, even if you're oh, great yeah. with a newer game, you can excel. Even for, like, uh, I saw one of his videos on YouTube for Tetris Effect, for him completing master level 30. Dan's gonna have to dig that out. Get, you got line over, over, triple, and digging back down. Was he really in trouble, or was it just as he planned? This game is so sticky that any time you're that high, you're oh, defying yeah. death. For sure, for sure. And he's going to get a boom. dirty Tetris. Really there dirty. Uh-oh. Uh, you can see it right there. He slid the piece just a little too far. Maybe a little bit of nervous, nerves to start out here. This is a big audience here, and he probably hasn't played in any sort of environment like this before. But he's just fine now, and he's going to be able to clean it. As soon as he gets a long piece, Tetris he can ready. get the Tetris. Mm, but the RNG not being kind to him right now. Okay, he's going to be able to That's do a, a little bit of clean. happening in the 30s now. Oh, but Ooh. now he needs to... Okay, and he got oh, it. there he goes. Boom, go. Tetris for Dan. Josh also navigating that drought. Holds out. Boom, Tetris for Josh. Both players now. Well, Josh still needs to clean up just a little bit here. Didn't get that piece of slide, but actually worked out for him just perfectly with those two back-to-back -back O pieces. Dan clearing his alley out, and boom, Tetris for Dan. Josh also Tetris ready. We are very competitive up on top, neck and neck. And there you go, Joseph, with his own Tetris right now, and he's got a very clean play field right now. But guess who's got the highest Tetris percentage rate? It's Green Tea. Mmm, had to do a little bit of cover up there to Joseph. He should be fine, especially with his hyper tapping technique. Boom, he can play Tetris at a Joseph. higher level than anybody, than most players using the Daz technique. Right. Nice spin tuck there. And there we go. Boom, boom Tetris, Tetris for, for Joseph. Joseph. And boom, Tetris for Green Tea. Green Tea still with a lead. <laughs> and Josh winding his lead up on top. 
And you know, Green Tea has turned himself into such a fan favorite. One of the main reasons why is because the man is always smiling. He's always having such a good time. And it's things like that that get people wanting to play and try Tetris. Absolutely. And right now, Joseph trying to clean out a little bit. He's got that hole in the middle there on the fourth column, but he's going to get access it now, and he's cleaned up and ready to go. Drilled down all the way to the bottom, but he's going to turn out, have to turn the aggression on because Green Tea's lead is getting up there. Yeah, but Green Tea also has that little nice stack of O pieces right in the middle there. Mm -hmm. Finally having other places to drop that. A lot of times the landscape of the field determines where you can put the pieces as cleanly as possible. Mm, there we Bro, go. Joseph catching up just a little now. But he needs to fill in that gap. You see, he has to have a J piece and he's waiting for it. Mm. Now he needs the L piece. And he, ooh, okay. That's what he needs. Unlocks it with the triple. And Joseph is Tetris ready again. And Josh going for a, a Tetris right there. Boom, dirty Tetris for Josh. And then a beautiful L piece for him to clean out more of those lines. Dan has fallen a little bit behind. He's been doing a lot of cleanup, but he's finally got his play field nice and clean right now, and he's ready for that. Boom, Tetris for Dan. And again, for those who are watching and new to this, you know, if you're familiar with the newer games like Tetris Effect and such, the randomization of the pieces in this game are definitely not as friendly. It is a true randomization, so you can go long spaces with huge droughts. No telling how long your drought will last in this game. And green tea transitions. And when you transition, you notice that the speed increases drastically. That's why everybody starts at level 18, get all the points, and then transition at level 19. Looks like Joseph is going to transition with the Tetris here. Yep. And boom, Tetris for Joseph. So all four players have transition. Dan remember, QZ moving to level 20. Remember, this is head-to-head, -head, so the two top players are going up against each other, and the two bottom players are going against each other. Wow. Joseph with a very high field, but boom, Tetris for Joseph is going to give himself some Josh's in a bit space. of trouble. He's going to have to clear some line. Mm. I, I think that's going to top him out. And Dan QZ just needs 1,800 points to Yeah, that's going to be it. simple. As long as boom, Tetris that for there, Dan. There Dan. Takes the first round. But remember, this is best three out of five, That's so there's right. still a lot of room for Josh to come back. Also, you'll notice that Green Tea playing at a little bit faster pace, already at 160 lines. Joseph trying to set himself up for Tetris. There he goes. He's Tetris ready now. Where's that long piece? Boom, Tetris for Green Tea. And, and there boom, go. Tetris or Joseph. We He's are neck and neck. Definitely so close. I mean, right now, um, you can see under the main scores, the difference between the scores in red and green. Both play fields looking good. And honestly, right now, that lead is basically non-existent at this point. Right. Every time one player gets the line piece, the other does as well. So if any of them miss a potential Tetris, that could mean the difference. Can you imagine Boom, if that Tetris first or green game tea. comes down just to one Tetris? But you can see right now, Dan QZ and Josh have also started uh, their second game. Wow. And we march on. We're at level 25 and level 24, respectively, on the bottom. Boom, Tetris or green tea. Now with the one Tetris lead. There we go. And now green tea is ready to go. Jo Joseph trying to clean out this field. He got the long piece, not when he needed it. He needs another one. Green no, tea's in good way. shape Okay, here. there we go. And look at this. Joseph's that still amazing alive. Amazing dig by Joseph. High up oh, top. No. But he, but and he gets another. Boom, catch for Joseph. And Joseph is right back into it. Still pretty much neck and neck, but Green Tea just gets one Tetris ahead there. Uh-oh. Can he get the long bar over? Oh, yes. Get it? Boom, oh, Tetris for Joseph. And again, as a hyper -tapper. Boom, Tetris for Green Tea. Dueling Tetris is to the end. We are getting to the kill screen here. Yeah, as soon as they get to level 29, it gets, quote, fast, too fast for them to survive. But Joseph has actually survived to like 32 or 33 in the past. Joseph with the well on the left side, clears out the double. Boom, Tetris for Joseph, maintaining his aggression, trying to catch up. He is one Tetris behind. Look at how much pressure these players are putting onto each other. You cannot give an We're inch. We're going to have a double kill screen, potentially. Oh, 
Oh. Green tea at the kill screen. Okay, so green tea is down, but it's 70, he has 73,000 up. Can Joseph do this? Tetris he one death. Tetris. Can he, he survive? Needs... Oh my god, he could survive. He could hyper tap. Can he do this? Can he do this? No. Double. No, it's not, it's not gonna happen. Green oh my goodness. One. Green tea. Green tea was first game round. number one. And you know what the crazy thing is? Green T was probably a little nervous. He was like, he could actually still do this. Oh. Wow, a double kill screen between Green T and Joseph. And that's what a way to kick this off. That was just game one and already it's like someone won the championship. Look at these guys. <laughs> and we've still got a, uh, a round going up on top. <laughs> Let's not forget about Josh and Dan. And yeah, Boom, Dan Tetris is in for a Dan. great place. Yep. We are neck and neck though, so Josh and Dan are now on level in the level seventy or in the seventy line range. The hard part for Dan right now is he is not getting good RNG to help him clear out these spaces. Again, as I said, the pieces. Oh no, actually, right there he got all the pieces that he needed, and so there we go. He's set up for a Tetris now. Both players Tetris ready. And there it is for Dan. Boom, Tetris for Dan. Josh, Josh waiting, getting the long bar. Boom, Tetris for Josh. Yeah, Josh, unfortunately, with the ninth column Tetris, it's a very awkward position because you need a lot of long bars. So he's going to try to clear that out as soon as he can. And Green Tea and Joseph have begun game number two. Dan evening up the score with that Tetris. And Josh still drilling that back down to the bottom. Simul Tetris for Green Tea and Joseph. They are on pace exactly with each other. And now, oh, back to back eyepieces. Beautiful for Josh. Green Tea is Tetris ready. Let's see what he tucks in there. Does look at this. Spin? Josh going to go for center well Tetris, and he's going to be rewarded. Whoa. There you go. Nice dirty Tetris for Josh. Evening up the score just a little bit, Dan with a slight lead. We're at 100 lines. Some time to the transition. Yeah, transition's at 130 lines. Game speeds up and they want to get their houses in order in order to deal with that so they don't top out. Yeah, you can have a great game. You can be playing a perfect game and as soon as you get to 19 and it speeds up, a great game can just fall apart so quickly. A little this drop bit by Josh, he'll have to clean that out. Can he get Still to there? It. Oh, he's gonna be able to clear some lines with that hole right there. Yeah, the right it's gonna cause him problems. The game didn't give what he needed. Dan QZ taking another round. So we're at a match point situation up top. Dan QZ up two. And again, this is Dan QZ's first Classic Tetris World Championships, and he already looks like a veteran player here. He did have to win a regional qualifier to get here, so he, right. he won that trip to Portland. So with that competition experience, it can still go a long way. Boom, Tetris for Green Tea. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. Yeah, like I said, they're keeping pace with each other perfectly. Mm -hmm. Still can, early on. You can also see their Tetris rates. Joseph with an 80% Tetris rate right now. Both these players can be super aggressive when they need to be, but they can also defend and burn things off when need be. So I think it's really both of their ability to do that is pushing each other. And that's mm -hmm. why we're seeing the double kill screens and super aggressive scores here. And that's one of the important things too. During the qualifying rounds, it's just points. And so the way that you play, the strategy that you use is very different in the direct head to head. Because once you start playing head to head, all of a sudden you can play depending on how your opponent is, if they're right. playing slow, if they have a lower percentage than you in terms of Tetris rates, you can really adjust your strategy. And right now, Green Tea is just having trouble here because he has not been able to clear his stack fully yet. There we go. At, got access to the hole, so he's going to be able to fill that up. So he is in great position now. Joseph with a two Tetris lead right now. Ready for another? Boom, Tetris for Joseph. And boom, Tetris for Green Tea. He's back in business. Up on top, Josh having to do some burning to get that back down. He has to win this match in order to stay in. And there it is, the long bar for Josh. Boom, and boom, Tetris, Tetris for, for Josh. Josh. Now Dan QZ having to do some cleanup. This is Josh's chance to catch up. 
Well, it's working out for him now. He's got a wonderful play field at this point. Super clean. There it is. Boom, Tetris for Josh. Meanwhile, Dan having to do a little bit of cleanup himself. Nice tuck nice there. Spin. Tuck spin the by Dan QZ. Oh, and perfect back-to-back -back pieces right there to give him access to that hole right there. And now he's opened it up, and so he should be good to go. But look Except, on the bottom. Oh. Joseph opening up on one almost 100,000-point lead <laughs> over Green Tea. <laughs> wow. Crowd getting into it. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. And boom, Tetris for Green Tea. Got a fight on our hands on the bottom as we hit about 100 lines, 30 away or so from transition. Still a lot of time. Now, we saw what happened himself, last time. Oh, actually, he just got the pieces exactly as he needed. With and the tuck. tuck there in there. Yep. But where's the long bar now? He's got to do some cleaning at this point. Yep, there you go. Both players navigating at the drought. Oh, but Green Tea handling that. And there you go, the long bar Boom, just in time. Tetris. For both players. They're both on the same piece drop at the same pace. So when one gets the bar, the other does as well. Yep. Double Tetris there you go. all around. But you can see at the top right now, Dan having a little bit of problems. But again, as I mentioned earlier, he's a hyper-tapping player, which actually gives him a little bit more breathing room. He's holding out for the L piece, but it won't Ooh, show up. Get it over. No. No. And Josh takes this round, staying in it. He was holding out to see if he could get the L piece or an I piece. He couldn't get it, and then it, he topped out, and Josh is like, whoa, wait, you mean I won? Okay, I can stop now. Actually, I really appreciate that Josh keeps playing, because you never know, you know? You yes, have, You have to exactly. make sure. It's like you in the zombie apocalypse, you all have double tap. <laughs> oh, that was such a nice tuck there from Green Tea. That was beautiful. Ooh. And now he's just holding out for a couple of line pieces. No, he's going to go ahead and do one line burn right there. You can also see how many lines the players have burned between their Tetrises. Green Tea now transitioning down 100,000 points. Joseph is quite a bit in the lead. Green Tea will have to turn on the aggression. And you know, when you're down that many points, a lot of times you can think to yourself, well, I can count on the other guy maybe topping out. And if I just play patiently, I'll be okay. But the problem is, this is, jo Joseph. this is Joseph Saley here, and you can't count on him to top out. Green Tea, the best thing about it is, you know exactly how he's feeling at every second of the game. And he's still having fun even under all this pressure. <laughs> Gonna open up that center well. Yeah, perfect pieces now. back to back, and he's gonna be able to get himself oh, set up for a Tetris. Nice and, and tuck that, yep. And now he's gotta, yeah, he's gotta clean up. So he's not Tetris ready now. Almost. But he needs, yeah, there you go. But there it is. And he's chose not to clean. He's going for the center well Tetris right now. There yeah, there we go. Center well Tetris or green tea. <laughs> Joseph with 777 on the board. <laughs> Boom, Tetris Boom. for Joseph. Yeah, and meanwhile, while we're sitting there watching Green Tea trying to dig himself out of this, Joseph has just been playing so great. He is on massive max out pace. He is at 79%. You need about a 60% to get a max out pace, but he is at 79. Almost in defiance of what happened last round. Look at that. Boom, Tetris Dude. for Green Tea. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. 80% Tetris rate at 23, at level 23. And just so you guys know, maxing out means that you get 999,000 points. That's as high as the game will register. James, I'm excited. This could be it. This could be the max out. The first max out. Now we had uh, about 12 max outs, I believe, during the qualification rounds. But we but have an not... actual match. Yeah, but we haven't had one in the actual match. And we are on pace for that right now. 39. Green tea set up for a Tetris. Mm. Ooh, he's gonna get a couple of long bars. He yeah, the takes the double. Is, is hurting him right now. Did not get to utilize. Doesn't want to go set for up. the triple. Boom! Tetris for Joseph for what, like one away from a max out here. Oh no! A misplacement Ooh. right there, but boom! Max Tetris for Joseph. We have a max out. out. Right one million points for Joseph. Wow! Insane. <laughs> but for Joseph, it's just another day at the office. 
official max out here on the tournament, and we're Green still, still going. fighting. Oh, oh no, he couldn't quite get by it over there. I think he's going to be able to get past yeah. that insurmountable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And again, how about that? Just a reminder here that the game itself doesn't register over a million points. It maxes out at 999999. But this special, we have a special right, interface with, uh, here that we're Trey calculating it manually. Math calculations on the screen for us. We know he has surpassed 1 million points for the first time in CTWC history and competition play. We went from a double kill stream to a max out in the very next game. <laughs> Man. But let's not forget, Josh and Dan QZ still have a match on top. <laughs> but not not only that, but it's only one to one right now for Green Tea and Joseph. We could potentially go the whole distance with five games. And if they're all like this, I don't know if I can survive the rest of this day. I'm shaking. <laughs> boom Tetris for Josh, by the way. And boom Tetris for Dan. Nice little adjustment at the last second there for Dan. Clearing out. Now he needs... Uh, a long bar for the side or perhaps a J piece. So he's gonna opt for the long bar over there. Heading up to about 90 lines. I mean, we really have to hand it to, to Dan and Josh, you know, even with all these distractions and having other players play at the same time, that they're able to maintain that neck yeah. and neck. And honestly, like once you start playing this and you get into that zone, you, it's, you can almost block everything out of your mind except for the field that you're playing on. And look at this, Dan is now set up for the Tetris, and boom, Tetris for Dan. Josh also set up, ready to answer. There it is, boom, Tetris for Josh. Oh, nice pieces right there for Josh. Oh no, blocked off his ability to drop the L piece over there. So he's looking for the J piece, but he's gonna get the Tetris, yep. and he got the J as well to fill that out. Nice clean play field, so they're gonna have a nice transition if they can keep this up. Green tea right now, not quite set up for the Tetris, so he's got to drop that I piece on the side, unfortunately. Meanwhile, Joseph hunting for that L piece, didn't get it. A little bit of miss drop right there. And you'll be doing a bit of digging. Yeah. Both players. But he's going to get a Tetris right there, a dirty Tetris. Simul Tetris is on the bottom. Okay. Meanwhile, Josh has taken the lead. Now up by one. And Joseph just settling for the triple right there. And perfect timing for that Z piece. And yeah, smart stuff right there. If he had dropped the L piece into that slot, he would have blocked the hole. So he moved it to the side and was able to uncover it on the next piece instead. And there we go. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. And boom, Tetris for Green Tea. Josh transitioning. Now level 19. And Dan QZ follows right behind. Going into transition, we're neck and neck. Even though Green Tea is one of the newer players, he still uses the Daz method instead of the hyper tapping method. And so we have two Daz players versus two hyper tappers here on the stream. That's true. We've seen this dynamic before. It's really exciting because it's such different styles of play, their movement abilities. But what's interesting is a lot of the young crew is leaning towards the hyper tapping. You almost kind of feel like at some point in time, it's just going to become the dominant strategy. And there we go. Boom, Tetris for Dan. Boom, Tetris for Green Tea. But if you have DAS players learn how to hyper tap, then you've kind oh, of got yeah. the best of both worlds. So Absolutely, you would have the ability to do both. Looking for a hyper tapping DAS hybrid <laughs> as an Oh evolution. no! Dan with Ooh. a little miss slide there, but you know what? Turn he... it into a roof and burn it off. Oh, oh no, another miss. miss drop. Another miss drop. He should be okay. The stack isn't so bad. If he can get a long piece right now, he should be okay. Actually, he's not going to risk it. And there we go. Cleaning little by little. Nice. Lays it flat. Oh, no. But that gaps. square piece was at just the wrong time. He had too much of the, the jagged teeth layout, the landscape. Going to get done. Is he going to tuck his next eye bar? Ooh, Ooh nice Oh, spin. that was beautiful tuck right there. And now he needs another long piece. Can he find one in time? There's one. Yeah, the hard part Dirty is he needs, he needs the J. He got the J. Nice. There we go. Staying alive here. Josh with the lead. Can you believe he's still alive? He's still surviving. Nice. And boom, Tetris for Josh. 
winding and there his we lead. go. Look at that. Dan, Dan has dug all the way out. Dan and he is a dig. out. Beautiful play right there for Dan QZ. Amazing dig there. Meanwhile, Joseph with a little bit of a, a hole that he needs to clean out. Green T holding out for an either L or J. Finally got it. Oh, no. Unfortunately here with a little bit of an unfortunate RNG. He needs a long bar now. But he can probably... Oh, that's perfect. Top. Oh, but there we go. No, oh, he, he missed trouble. it. He missed and it. And it looks and like Josh means... is going to even it up. Josh. Tying it up, we're going to a game number five on the top screen now. Another decider. We've had so many of those today. And now Josh and Dan taking it to the last. It's amazing right now. This is, this, I think, I feel like, I mean, how many people out there would love to see every match go all five games? <laughs> we're yeah. It happen right as we speak. It's like we're all tied up on all screens. Mm -hmm. And Dan and Josh are right back into it. No breaks. Let's go. Meanwhile, Green Tea and Joseph almost on the way to transition with about 10 lines to go. Once again, the transition, once that happens, you got to adjust to the sudden burst of speed. Play Green fields tea. are pretty clean. Is Look. Joseph going to transition with a Tetris? Right. But lines Green Tea has a, a lead right now of about 90,000. And he's going to transition with via Tetris. Tetris. And boom, Tetris or Joseph transitioning with the Tetris. Boom. There you go. Simul Tetrises. Both players able to utilize the long bar. Tetris or Green Tea. Boom, Tetris or Joseph. Green Tea slightly ahead on pace. What's happening? Can Joseph get Joseph it over? Joseph needs so Oh, that's the perfect piece! Boom! Oh, Tetris to Joseph! Held out just long enough to make that happen. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you're thankful for the fortunate RNG, but you know what? To be able to, be able to survive that long so that the RNG can help you is amazing. Oh, man. Look how high his field is! Oh, boom! Tetris get to Joseph! And Tetris, Tetris for Green Tea! Oh, my God. Boom, Tetris or Joseph. Green Tea not utilizing the bar in the same way because he wasn't set up. But here we go. You can see right now, both players getting Boom, that back-to-back Tetris, back Green Tetris. Tetris. Yep. Ooh, and there we go. He's been opening it up. And he's Tetris ready. But that means Green Tea is going to build the lead a little bit here. And boom, boom Tetris. Tetris or Joseph. <sighs> And Joseph. Boom. Tetris for Green Tea. Green Tea maintaining a small lead right now. Green Tea taking the triple. Yeah, he burns for a triple right now, which is going to give the opportunity for Joseph to catch up if he can keep getting Tetrises like that. Every lion piece counts now. You have to use it for the maximum score when you've got two players that push each other this hard. Boom. Exactly. Tetris for Joseph. And that's the hardest part is normally. Boom. Tetris for Green Tea. Normally, you could try to relax a little bit, but you can't with these two players. It's just going back and forth. We could see a double max out. Oh, my goodness. They are both at above 65% rate right now. This is ridiculous. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. Green Tea almost Tetris ready. Tetris ready. Wait for the log bar. There, there it is. is. Boom, Tetris for Green Tea. Level 90, 26. 914,000 points. We're going to max out well, oh, well wait, before kill screens hang here. Hang on a second. Green Tea with some unfortunate RNG right here. He's got to clean himself out. He's working on it. Long bar came. He needs another long bar. He needs another long bar. There, there it is. is. Okay. And Jingle. a perfect square piece. Out. Oh, nice. Cleaning it out. Boom, Tetris oh, no. for Joseph. Green Tea. Both players just a couple of Tetris is away is from maxing out. Boom! Tetris max out by Joseph. This Green is Green Tea looking madness. for max out. Oh my goodness. Green Tea about to max out. Can he do it? Can he clear out its alley? A couple of pieces away from a max out for Green Tea. Oh, he could do it if he gets a long bar right now. He needs a long bar. There it is. Oh no! What is happening here? Still playing. Joseph has taken the lead. 
And Joseph has taken the lead for and almost Joseph the first time in the game. Take this oh one. my ladies, goodness! Ladies wow. and gentlemen, a double wow. max out wow. from Green Tea and Joseph. Wow. This is high level Tetris, everybody. We have not seen it this competitive. Record smashing left and right. Back to back games. Double kill screen. Our first max out and our first double max out. <laughs> and guess what? Guess what? We still have a game going up there between Dan QZ and, and, and Josh. Josh. Still one. <laughs> and there you go. Tetris for Josh. And boom, Tetris for Dan. Dan with a, with a score lead right now. 20 lines from transition. And, and now Josh, it's... Tetris ready. Boom, Tetris for Josh. Dan Husey up by a couple of Tetrises. Boom, Tetris for Dan. Maintaining that lead. Dan trying to build a Tetris in, in the fourth column right now. Wow, he is fighting for it. He Josh dumping some pieces. Oh, but he gets a Tetris. There you Boom. go. Beautiful stuff. The holding out worked out for him. He's going to have to do a little bit of cleanup now. And we're getting close to transition, so oh. they start, need to start getting safe there. He wanted to go for another center world Tetris. Unfortunately, the pieces did not allow him for that. He's got six lines to clear, uh, does Josh, to clean up before the transition. That's not the best height either player yep. wants to be. Dan QZ's board's in better shape, though. Boom, Tetris for Dan. The next one will give him transition. Yep, there we go. Josh transitioning, transitioning really high, can clean it up. But he's got it so far. Oh, a little too far for that, what but that's going to work. Drill him back down. He gets dirty actually, Tetris. He could get one if he can get a long piece. No, he's he's going to... Beautiful cleaning up nice. right there. There it is. Boom! Tetris, Tetris for Josh. Josh. But Dan QZ's still got a huge lead, 100,000 points. Boom, Tetris for Josh. Yeah, right now, what he needs to count on is Dan QZ perhaps topping out from a mistake. But Dan QZ right now, playing field is so clean. You can eat off that one. <laughs> there we go, burning through a Josh, some of that boom, stack. center well Tetris for Josh. Fighting back that de deficit every so little. And boom. Boom, Tetris for Dan, maintaining the aggression. Josh looking to open the center well. He's gonna, yep, and yep. there he is. He's set up for it, but he's it's too he risky. It it's too risky. So he's not going to go for it just yet. Oh, oh no. A this little bit not... of indecision. You can tell he, he had two places that he wanted to place that piece. This he needs a long bar. Dig. He needs a long bar. There it okay. is. He can still do this. Nice tuck. Nice tuck. High pressure tuck. Ooh. Oh, and he's going to he... give up. He's, he gives up at that point in time. And Dan QZ is going to move on to the next round. In five games, he has taken it three to two over Josh Tolis. Amazing play that was by the 18-year-old Dan QZ. One of the new young guns here on the Tetris circuit. Now we're just watching Green Tea and Joseph who have been giving us some of the most amazing matches that we have ever seen in CTWC history. Oh, Joseph missing the T-spin. <laughs> and you know, and this tells you just how confident these players are. He misses it and he's like, whatever, whatever, I'm fine. It's not even a problem. They're just making Tetris history on stage. It's no big deal. <laughs> so there you go. But unfortunately, he's got that uh, really unwieldy S stack in the middle right now. He should be able to clear it out if he can get, oh no, he's gonna, is he gonna transition over to a left side left Tetris well for built. now? Yeah, it's there we go. go. Perfect. Well. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. There we go. And it's kind of uh, stuck for him that way right now. He hasn't really had an opportunity to move the Tetris well back to the right, as you can see. Oh no, perfect back to back L and J. He saw it developing. And green tea with a nice clean play field now. Yeah. And again, as often as you can see some droughts that look like they just destroy players, sometimes you get the right pieces in a row and it's wonderful. He still needs a long bar to fill that hole though in the third column does does Joseph. Green tea's lead's pretty big though, 100,000 yeah. points. Let's see if Joseph can catch up. Yeah, all the cleaning that Joseph has had to do so far mm -hmm. 
has put well, a, given him a little bit of a deficit. But again, we've seen how long he can survive. You're never ba the no lead is good enough against Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> and boom, Tetris to Joseph fighting back that deficit just a little. We're still early on, about halfway to transition. Mm. Blocks off that right well because he went for the clean. Green tea is going to be in cleanup mode for a while. That's no, fine. He's oh, back no. into he's, it. He's back in it. Yeah. Burns off the roof. All right, got to do a little clean. Oh, but perfect right there. Boom, boom Tetris, Tetris for green tea. tea. And he has 134,000 lead. Here we go, trying to burn off some pieces over there on the right column to set up the Tetris. Boom, Tetris to Joseph. All right, just need something now to be able to fit over there on the left. There we go, and now he's Tetris ready, but he does need a tuck, and there it is, the perfect piece for that. But again, he's trying to play it safe. Oh, wow, he's just gonna go ahead and cover it. Fill it back down any way he can. Crowd really rooting Ooh. for Green Tea. Spin from Joseph, and boom, Tetris to Joseph. A little bit of a mistake that. for Green Tea, but he should be able to get himself out of there. Not too bad. Of, oh, no, 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 no. Actually, the RNG, the RNG, the RNG Ooh. can give it and take it away. Green Tea with some trouble here. Nice. Dealing the best he can here. Oh. Oh, 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 no. oh and there it over. is. And so now Joseph should just be able to take this here. Green Tea with a very bad series of pieces there, not very friendly RNG, and now Joseph can just away. take his time. Boom. <laughs> there it is. Joseph has done it. He has eliminated Green Tea. Wow. Joseph, our reigning champion, is going to move on in probably one of the highest quality level of play for a CTW match in history. I am in awe at the performance I just saw. Two players pushing each other. We had so many upsets coming into this. But now that we're in the final eight, this has not disappointed. Thank you very much. I'm here with Dan QZ, who has had an incredible run so far. Definitely give this young man a round of applause. I want to highlight his journey in even picking up NES Tetris in the first place. How did you discover NES Tetris? Um, actually, I uh, first discovered this th through the 2016 uh, Jeff video. Uh. So the, uh, yeah. How many people have watched the viral Boom Tetris for Jeff video? So you watched the video, and then you got hooked on Tetris. What did you play at first? Well, I didn't really have anything to play except like on my phone or on my computer, so I played my phone version a lot. And then I only picked up NES Tetris like a month before the, tw uh, the 2018 uh, tournament. Okay, so let that sink in. He started playing this version of Tetris a year ago. A year ago. And you transitioned from playing on your phone to playing on NES Tetris. What was your first NES Tetris game like? Um, well, I started, on, I started on level 9 because I didn't know how to do 19, because I was thinking, hey, I could play some 19. <laughs> uh, I think I topped out with like 5,000. Well, you're definitely doing much better here. How does it feel to be in the semifinals of this world championship tournament? Um, I... Oh, does it even sank in? Like, are you even <laughs> thinking like, wow, like, I can't believe this is happening? My, my goal was to make top 16 so I could pay back some of my uh, hotel bill. <laughs> well, you're moving on in the tournament, and actually you're going to be facing the champion, Joseph Saley. What are your thoughts? Like, just put it into context. The next matchup, you're facing the world champion, and you're here, you're in this moment. Describe your emotions right now. Um. <laughs> Can you even put it into words? Yeah, no, no I, th I think that describes it better than I could. <laughs> How about that? A teenager from New Jersey is in the semifinals. A round of applause for Dan QZ. Thank you very much. You can go ahead. All right. So from one teenager to another, let's bring in the world champ, Joseph Saley. <laughs> so, 
I, what did we just watch, man? What on earth was that? Two top, uh, two max outs back to back. Uh, just to describe the feeling of having maxed out for the very first time in CTWC history in a live tournament. I'm glad I can do that for you guys. I mean, if this is, is this what I'm really gonna have to work for? Jesus, man. Like, please, <laughs> give me a break. Oh my gosh. Talk about green tea as an opponent. It really felt like you two were pushing each other to the, I mean, pardon the pun, the max here. Like you guys were really motivating each other. I know, it's just, I don't know. Green tea is amazing. He's super consistent. Like, I'm really glad that we can get it together. <laughs> I don't know what to say, it's amazing. What do, you make, what do you make of this? It seems like after you won in 2018, you motivated so many young players to pick up the game, to, to idolize your performance, and pick up the game and play here today. What do you make of all of that? I know, I'm just really glad that we have all these young competitors coming out. I'm really, thank you so much for coming out. You make my heart, oh. <laughs> thank you guys so much. All right, well, you got another matchup to attend to. The champ moves on in the tournament. James and Chris, back to you. You know, one of the things I've, I've always liked to like in Joseph Saley's performance, I don't know how many people out there like follow professional poker out there, but when Chris Moneymaker took the World Series of Poker, it really spawned a whole bunch of new competitors coming in. And I feel like Joseph Saley has done something very, very similar. As soon as he won, just everybody was inspired shows to shows that it's try. possible. It's possible yes. you don't have to invest 20 years into the game, just one and doing really well and really investing yourself in it. Exactly. It's its own payoff.